guys, Stars Be Cool here, and today I'm going to be analyzing scene by scene the Last Jedi trailer, which was by far one of the best trailers I've ever seen for a movie overall. It was really amazing and just completely blown, blow, blew away my mind and my expectations. So, um, here we go. So here we see Kylo Ren, and um, it's been confirmed that this hanger he's looking at is what Finn and the new character Rose are trying to destroy. So I'm just going to say that's what he's looking at. When I found you. When I found you. I saw Brawl. Alright, so um, there we see, when I saw you, I f when I found you, I saw Raw. And he's about to say untamed power, but um, we'll get to that in a sec. Just a funny little joke. These things, those little ridges, are probably a reference to how the last at-at, since these are kind of the old at-ats, were destroyed. And as you can see by the red dust, they're on that planet. I forgot what it's called, but um, those aren't, um, those, it's not snow, it's like salt. Or something, just basically, it's a planet with the red dust that we saw in the old trailer. So this is probably going to be like the Battle of Hoth. And you can see Kylo Ren, what looks like Kylo Ren's shuttle going down, so he's probably going to be here. Untamed power. See? Now, um, by the way, I've watched this five times. So, um, we see Kylo Ren surrounded by an army of stormtroopers in some weird area. Now, I don't feel like this is getting enough attention, but um, is black and red. Probably, probably that planet we saw t a couple seconds ago, judging by the red and how I guess they have mines or something there. <clears throat> and here's Kylo grabbing his lightsaber. You can see, I forgot what they're called, but they're basically the new Royal Guard. Those things, if you don't remember, they were those two red guys by the Emperor in Return of the Jedi. These are basically the new version of it, and they're going to be like a samurai. So he's either super mad <clears throat> and is about to kill everyone, or possibly, since these are the Royal Guard, he's with Emperor Palpatine. Something truly special. Something truly special. So it's more than just power, which could be his relation to Luke and Leia. But is he truly talking to Kylo? Bam! We get hit by with Rey with a with Luke's lightsaber. Now I personally believe Snoke is talking to Rey for reasons I'll expand upon later. But as you can see, she's on the island. She's um holding the lightsaber. And this is my favorite scene. Uh, not Lucasfilm. This is. Not that. Not that. I'm sorry. Right. We, so here we see, once again, her hands in Luke's lightsaber. But my god, the detail they put into this hand. Just look at every individual finger with all its gears and wires and springs. Not only does it look worn, but you can truly see the technology. And I'm pretty sure this is his old hand, just with the skin came off. Inside me has always been there. Something inside me has always been there. Once again, proving that Rey has some unknown power and that she is an ancestor of either Luke, Han, or, or Palpatine. Some are saying Snoke. But more on that later. Alright. So, you see her, she's seeing the Journal of the Wills, which are basically the codes of the Jedi that's showing all their history. We once again see her fighting that the same scene in the old trailer. But, so look, look. This is my favorite scene. It starts off kind of random. I didn't really like it. But then, bam, bam. That scene, I don't know why, but just the perfect filming that went into it. Just beautiful. I love that scene. That scene is amazing, and it shows the power within. Look, even Luke's freaked out by that power within. Just that spin. 
crack. That was amazing. Just I freak out over that every single time. It was so amazing. And then you see once again her lifting the rocks. I've seen this raw strength before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. So we see just assuming this is in order, once he sees that, he is warned about her raw strength. Just like what's just like what um sorry. Just like sorry, oh god, oh god. Sorry about that. Just like um what we saw last time. Just like what Snoke said a while ago. So, he, we see, he said, I wasn't afraid of it then, talking about Kylo. I am now. A lot of people are saying this is the Emperor. I'm pretty sure it's obviously Kylo. Because, I mean, while he's talking, we see the Jedi Temple being burnt down. So, um, yep. He's most likely talking about Kylo. And he doesn't want what happened to Kylo to happen to Rey. So now he's most likely refusing to train her, as you can see by him walking away and the look on Ray's face of being denied tra the training. God, that just went weird. All right, you see Kylo Ren again with his helmet, and he's super mad. He's still being torn, and then we see he's fighting. You can see how like just completely unemotional, just. He looks like a drone, which is just something cool. Now, this is most likely inspired by Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Kill the, something about the past is stopping him. Kill them if you have to. Kill it if you have to. That's what he said. That's Admiral Ackbar back, back there, most likely. And here we see they're, kind, they're, um, they're trying that he's about to blow up Princess Leia's ship, most likely to try and get rid of the tear behind him, and we see this little kind of forced stare down, I'm guessing, and then, now that's the big question, will he press the button, that is the big question, will he press that button, what do I think, honestly, I don't know, I think this is 50-50, I think this is there's a 50-50 chance of him pressing this button. I honestly have no idea. This is the first time I haven't leaned either way that I am I am I honestly am not sure at all. But um one thing, here's why I think I'm kind of mad if he does press the button. I do want I don't want to believe that Kylo's turned good. I don't think this is the way. But um the fact that they reveal Princess Leia's death in a trailer, of course, due to Carrie Fisher's death, we do know she's gonna die. But this being the way and just revealing it in a trailer, after all they've hidden from us, the fact that they'd show us how Princess Leia dies, I think is extremely unlikely. So this Christmas, December 4th, 15th to be exact. Then we see the Millennium Falcon being thrown inside the mines of that planet with the red stuff. You, you know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to call it Salty Red from now on because I don't know what it's called. They're doing the, mo they're, the Millennium Falcons being flown in Salty Red. And now one of my second favorite scenes. Right. All right, so there's Chewbacca and the Porg. I mean, I wasn't that big a fan of Porgs, but... And Chewbacca is one of my favorite characters. So the fact that he and the Porg are going to be hanging out. I got on Force Friday. You can. I'm not going to go into it. But I got an official thing saying he's going to be exploring the wildlife of the planet Razon. Which is most. And the Porgs have been confirmed to live on that island. So yep. That's adorable. Then we just see some ships blowing up. So we got some Poe Dameron saying, we got a spark that'll light the fire, that'll burn the First Order down. Then we see Phasma and Finn. He's using, it's one of those lightsaber things, that those things that can like deflect lightsabers. A lot of people are wondering, why the heck is he wearing a First Order uniform? Does he turn evil? No, the, that, it's not a question, no. 
It's been confirmed that he goes undercover with Rose. So it's not just a theory. No, he does not turn to the First Order. And I mean, even if that wasn't confirmed, if he turned, why the heck is he fighting Captain Phasma? And you can see the pure look of hatred. Pure hatred in her eyes. Or I guess her helmet, to be more exact. Due to the fact that, um... I guess they kind of tortured her and put her in the trash compactor. You don't see this in the movie, but it's been confirmed that it took quite a lot of torture before she gave up. She didn't just surrender just like that. So, yup, they fight. Now, um, we see BB-8 with, like, electricity being hit. Um, I mean, that could just be them saying, hey, BB-8's here, but I feel like electricity is zapping him and him just kind of shaking it off. That's kind of a weird scene to put in a trailer. So I feel like there might be more to that. Maybe like he glitches out for a sec. And then we see Luke on the ground. Probably or m likely. I don't know. Just maybe when um the temple gets burnt down. Alright, so let me explain that. This isn't going to go the way you think. There are two possible things. This is him warning Ray that it's not what it used to be. This is going to be a lot harder, basically. This is going to suck. Or it could be um, him talking to Kylo, saying your turn to the dark side isn't going to be as strong as you think. Then we see some ice dog things from, once again, big salty red. And then we see Princess Leia. And um, they're closing the hangers. This kind of reminds me of what happened in um, Hoth, where she's like, where's Han Solo? But they close the hangers because I guess it's too cold or something. So yeah, Princess Leia's there again. And that brings us to where we are now. We see her swimming with Luke Jackson training. And then we see Finn is undercover as one of those soldiers again. Then we see more of the battle. And here, now, I'm pretty sure this kind of confirms that Snoke's talking to Rey because we see him finishing his sentence here. So, um, this, I don't think he's talk. So this is why I think it's basically confirmed he's talking to Rey, not Kylo, because you see him talking. He's talking right now. You can see the facial movements. All right, let me just rewind that a bit so you can see. Let me just... See, you can kind of see his mouth moving a little. So yes, that is Snoke talking. And as you can see, it's the same location. There's his golden robe. So yes, and by the way, so yes, he is in fact talking to Rey in my opinion. And also, you can see he's kind of doing the same thing that Emperor did to Luke. Even the same phrase, fulfill your destiny. Then he, um is, I guess, kind of force attacking Ray or something, which can be compared to the lightning. And now the big thing, the big thing that drove us all insane. I need someone to show me my place in all this. So, um, that's, I'm sorry, I was just kind of thinking. So, um, yup, there's basically the whole trailer. Um, that one scene, a lot of people are wondering, which is it, whoops, sorry, which is it? Did Rey turn evil, or did Kylo turn good? Now, I'm just going to get it out of the way. If that's how Ty Kylo turns good, that's a really, really lazy way for him to turn good. Just kind of. Oh, I'm sad because I almost killed my mom. Or I did kill my mom. I'm good now. And also, if it is him going to her, I don't get why he'd reach his hand out. Because, I mean, it sounds kind of weird. But think of whenever you see a hand being reached out. It's always by the person offering the redemption or whatever. You never see someone like, I need help. And then they hold out their hand. It's the person giving the help or whatever it is. Holding out their hand. So I feel like if it was Kylo turning good, it would have been Rey who held out her hand. And based on what Rey is saying, which, I mean, people are saying it's two separate scenes. But just like, look, it's, you can see kind of the lighting is the same as here. So I'm pretty sure, yes, 
um, Ray is asking Kylo for help. And Kylo is not good. He is extremely torn. And I couldn't go into much detail on this. But um, in the novelization version, um, in the no it said that he thought that when he killed Han, he Snoke told him he would be stronger or more powerful than ever. But when he did it, he just felt weak and drained. So that could be why he doesn't kill his mom and turns good. But because of that one scene, and because that would still be a pretty lazy way for him to turn good, I'm going to say it's Ray asking. All right, this just stopped for some reason. So I'm just going to keep going. Wait a sec. All right, so that's why I think that it's um Ray, that Ray's asking Kylo for help. So, um, what was I going to say? Alright. And also, I don't think she's turning evil, but she could possibly. Now, you may remember, I thought it was evidence that Ray was, that Ray was training, that Ray was training, that Ray was the ancestor of the Emperor. I said the voice that was talking to her in the novelization, telling her to kill her. Um, see, check that video out. I'll put it in the end screen. Um, please, I think, bleh, sorry, I just completely zoned out. I think, um, that it, I guess at some point it was confirmed that's actually Snoke talking to her, trying to pull what the Emperor did twice, first with Annie and Dooku, then with Luke and Darth Vader. So, um, yes, I do think most likely Rey, it, I don't think Rey's going to turn evil, though. I think she's just trying to find her place. Maybe a temporary kind of traitoring, traitorous thing, but she is in no way going to turn into a Sith. Hmm, sorry about that. But, um, so I think that, yes, Rey is asking Kylo for help, but no, Kylo isn't turning good. And no, Ray isn't turning bad. So, um, thanks for watching. I'm pretty sure that's it. So, um, bye. Hi, guys. Remember to click all the links on your screen. One of them is for the, um, trailer. Another one's for that video I made on all the Jedi theories and stuff. Part 2 coming out soon. Also, remember to subscribe, and icons there too. There's also the Star Wars channel, and click the icon for different stuff.